Greetings, folks. Too Improper here bringing you yet another in my series. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Another box! Why do I play these games with you? You guys can see what the title of the video was. Without further ado, this is my first AK-47, by the way, folks. Right in here. This is the Sentry Arms Zastaba NPAP Rifle. Oh, you guys know how excited I am about this? Holy crap! Okay, this I'm excited because this is my first AK-47. Do you believe that? You guys thought I had everything, didn't you? This is the NPAP by Sentry Arms. So far, as I inspected it at the FFL, and let me scoot up closer here so you guys can see my stuff. Not that stuff, ladies, sorry. So you can see the rifle. Uh, this rifle is in very good condition. As I inspected this at the FFL, I was very excited about the build quality of this rifle. Oh my god. Let me get myself situated here so I can pick it up for you. So, the rifle is a 7.62x39 rifle. It's an AK-47 variant, for those of you who didn't know. And this was a very affordable rifle. It is under $550. My head is off right now. I sacrificed my Ruger SR-1911 to get this rifle. Yes, it's a genuine tear in my eye as I say this. However, there's method to my madness, and the reason I did that, and it was pretty much a straight-up trade, with the way this uh, current administration uh, is focusing on trying to ban this and ban that about guns, banning this import, banning that import, I feel it's a matter of time before something like this goes up in price dramatically because of how it's going to be so rare due to imposed regulations and uh, new rules that this administration is coming up with. So not wanting to fuck with that, I decided that I was going to just go ahead and trade my Ruger SR 1911. And later on, I'll get another 1911, but I'll get one that's all blued. I decided I wanted one that's all blued. And I only really want one 1911. Okay, not to tell you my life story, but... That's how I got this rifle. Now, let's go back to the build quality of this rifle and some of the features about it. If I, if I can bring this up close to you, you can see how well the build quality of this rifle is. This is a very nicely put together rifle here. Uh, the bolt, it's a nice chrome bolt. Very nice, it's, uh, it operates smoothly. I'm gonna be cleaning this rifle later and therefore I'm not gonna take this rifle apart now. But uh, this operates smoothly. Uh, the pistol grip on this gun, I do like. It's very ergonomic. I'm a left-handed rifle shooter, but a right-handed pistol shooter. You can call me a freak if you want to, but that's how I've always done it. But this pistol grip here is ergonomic. It's got finger grooves in it, which I normally do not like finger grooves in my pistols. But uh, in this case, I'll make an exception because it actually fits my fingers. And to tell the truth, I was a little bit nervous about that, but now I am gratified that this thing fits my hand very well. Uh, the wood furniture of this rifle is very nice. All the way around. So when I show you this, look at how nicely done that is. Very smooth. Nicely finished. I'm very surprised. I got this from Bud's Guns, and the picture that they have of this rifle doesn't really do it a service. Up close, this gun is really, really nice looking. One of the other features about this gun is the fact that it's got a TAPCO 2 trigger. And it's actually very nice. Just a tiny bit of take up, and I think it's only like a 3.5 or 4 pound bull. And it's very crisp. Let's see what the reset's like here. Wow! That's very audible. Okay. One more time with that reset. Oh, that's very close. How nice. I know I was going off about trigger reset and everybody marking it as too important, but um, I guess, you know, that's a pretty good trigger reset there. Feels really nice. Very, very positive reset.
Now the safety on this rifle is one thing that I am not really tickled about right now. And that is because it is so freaking hard to engage the safety. What the hell? Okay, so to, to get it in safe is no problem. But to put it in fire again, oh my god. Ugh. Jeez, oh peach, you could break limbs doing this shit. But it's very hard. I'm, I'm hoping that over time this thing works itself out so that it's operating a little easier. Uh, other than that, other than that, the rest of the rifle is uh, is very nice. Uh, it's I'm really pleased with the build quality. This feels very solid. And when you look at the rifle on a physical inspection standpoint, the parts all look very solid. I understand that this is not a chrome lined barrel. And I guess a chrome line barrel is the most desired barrel to have in your rifle. But apparently people that have had this rifle in battle, apparently people that have shot thousands and thousands of rounds through their rifle have not experienced any difficulties with this barrel. You know, I don't think for someone like me, that's going to matter. You know, a chrome line barrel is not going to be a deal breaker for me. Uh, again, the quality of everything on this rifle is very, very nice. Um, and turning it over, you can see here that uh, there is an, an amount for scopes for this rifle. Pretty sweet. So this is it so far. This is the Zastava NPAP rifle. And it came with two magazines. Again, one of them is a Tapco magazine. Right? How appropriate. It also has a Tapco trigger. And seems to fit well. And comes out well. And it came with a surplus type metal magazine. Hear that? Sounds like metal. Don't know how it's going to work. I'm sure it'll probably be even more solid than the Tapco one. But they all go into the rifle very well. It looks very nice. And I am ultimately pleased with the condition of this rifle. This is my unboxing, so I had to get this rifle um, opened and out for you guys right away. So. I hope you like this so far. This is the Sentry Arms NPAP, and it is made by Zastava. And folks, yes, here it is. It says, or it doesn't say anything actually, it reads Zastava Serbia. And as you guys know, this is the second Zastava I've reviewed. This is the second Zastava I've had because I had that EZ9 semi automatic pistol. And so. Uh, if it's a Zastava quality as that pistol is, it's going to be a good Zastava rifle to have. But this is it. This is the Sentry Arms NPAP. Thank you for watching. Uh, if anybody has any advice about their NPAP, if they have it already, uh, let me know. As far as accessories and things like that are concerned. Because now I would be really interested. Normally I'm a pistol guy, but now I guess I'm a, a rifle guy too. So, thank you folks. Uh, I am too improper. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we speak right now. That is improper at gmail.com. Right, and I will answer you, provided you are polite about what you've got to say, and I have the time. Thank you for watching. God bless America, and keep on protecting your families, yourselves, and innocents in your surroundings. There's nothing wrong with that, and it's your God-given right.